Hey fellow back air boyers, Nick here. Now today I wanted to do a quick update and a little bit of a show and tell of some of the things that I've been flint napping lately. So if you watched my last video on flint napping, you'll remember the axe heads I made. Now this is a new one that I made, it's a little thinner than the others, but I went ahead and hafted it in a handle. Now this one was a lot of fun to do. It's got a nice weight to it, a nice feel to it. If I wasn't concerned of this breaking or I was really confident in my throwing, this would make a good thrower. <laughs> but all in all, I really like the way it turned out. You can see it's got a really nice thin blade on it. Now this is one of the axes that I showed you before. and You can see this one's got a little more body to it. And something like this I would use for green wood or softer woods for light processing and carving and shaping. Not really for chopping, but for skinning bark and for light chopping tasks, this would be great. You can see when you compare the two, this one's a lot thinner, so this is mainly going to be just a decorative piece, though I would actually use this one. Now these are all Celt style axe heads and they've been inserted into hardwood handles. I've really been liking the broom handles from Home Depot. They're made in Brazil and they're made of a very tough, very straight grained hardwood. I've really been liking working with it. It's not the easiest to cut and sand, but when you do finish it, it has a really nice natural gloss finish to it. I didn't add any special finish to this. This is just sanded and oil. It's really tough stuff. It makes a fantastic tool handle. And to get the stone heads in there, what I did was I cut a groove into the wood with a little bit of gap on the sides and then glued them in with pine pitch and then wrapped them with hemp. Now this style of hefting an axe is one of my favorites and I was hugely inspired by Chris aka Paleo Arts. If you haven't heard of him I'll put a link in the description to some of his work. He makes all kinds of really cool primitive weapons and tools and just the way he goes about designing things they have a very distinctly primitive feel to them while at the same time having a nice clean modern aesthetic. These tomahawks are a lot of fun to make so I'm got a couple videos in the works where I'm going to show you guys how to nap an axe head like this and then haft it into a wooden handle. Now lately I've been making a lot of smaller points and blades but one of my overall goals has been to get better at my longer blades. Now some of the guys I nap with consistently make blades that are 16 inches plus so I'm not even close to that. But for right now, I'm trying to get better at making longer, thinner blades. And this right here is a bit of a milestone for me. And when I went to Glass Buttes a year ago, I picked this up. And this blade was made by Stu Murdoch. Now, Stu is a fantastically talented napper. He's very good at what he does. And while this isn't exactly his best piece, this is a very nice piece. And this has been kind of my benchmark for success in a way. So what I've been trying to do is sort of replicate this point in terms of length and thickness. And for the longest time I haven't been able to exceed that. So for instance this blade here is a touch thinner but it's also a little shorter. So I took the same rock and I was able to make this piece. Now it's not as wide, so I still have to work on my width a little bit. It's still a little narrower than this. But you can see it's longer and it's just a little bit thinner. So I'm really happy. This is a big step for me and hoping to practice more and get better. You know, some of these guys can make paper thin blades that are this long or if they're this thickness they're a lot longer. So that's it for now. I'm gonna keep practicing and if you guys want to see me do more napping videos 
please let me know in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.